Welcome to Baugan Inglés 4.0, the radio show with Kyle Miller. Following class by class, step by step, the material of Baugan Inglés 4.0 on Aprende Inglés TV. Class 150. Let's go! Beginner. Hello and welcome to class number 150. Yes, let's go. Indeed, it is time for class 150. Only 45 more programs to go. Yeah, only 45 more. Not so bad, right? We're getting there. We're getting there. That's right. So we'll start with a review of yesterday's material. Yesterday, we were talking about push and pull, push, and pull, push, pulsar, empujar, and to pull, tirar. We were practicing in the past. So every day they push, every day they pull. So yesterday they pushed, and yesterday they pulled. Did you pull the rope or did you push the rope? The rope, la cuerda, the rope. Of course you pulled the rope. You pull a rope. Yesterday, you pulled a rope. You push a button. We pushed the boat into the sea. We pushed the boat. So push and pull. Every day I push. Yesterday, I pushed. Every day I pull. Yesterday, I pulled. Okay. So give me an affirmative answer. An affirmative answer. Did did Fitz pull the chain? Yes, Fitz pulled the chain. Did he push the button? Yes, he pushed the button. He didn't pull the button, he pushed the button. So push and pull. Okay, no problem. Very simple, right? Now, let's practice with some questions. This is the last part of class 149, questions using did as our auxiliary verb. So ask me if I lived in Madrid last year. Kyle, did you live in Madrid last year? Yes, I did. Yes, I lived in Madrid last year. Did you? Yes, I did. So in the short answer, I can say, yes, I did. In the full answer, yes, I lived in Madrid. No se puede decir, yes, I lived. No. Yes, I lived in Madrid last year. Or, yes, I did. Ask me if I taught English three years ago. Kyle, did you teach English three years ago? Yes, I did. And my long answer, yes, I I taught English three years ago. Ask me if I taught English four years ago. Kyle, did you teach English four years ago? Did you teach English four years ago? Yes, I did. Ask me, ask me if I knew Richard Vaughn in 2005. Kyle, did you know Richard Vaughn in 2005? Yes, I did. Yes, I knew him in 2005. Ask me if I met him in 2005. Kyle, did you meet Richard Vaughn in 2005? No, I didn't. Ask me when I met him. Kyle, when did you meet him? I met him in 2004. Yes. So I know him. I knew him last year. I knew him the year before. But I met him in 2004. Ask me if I met him in the United States. Ask me. So ask me if I met Richard Vaughn in the United States. Kyle, did you meet Richard Vaughn in the United States? Kyle, did you meet, did you, infinitive, meet, 
Richard Vaughn in the United States? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Ask me if I met him in Spain. Kyle, did you meet him in Spain? Yes, I did. Ask me if I met him in Madrid. Ask me if I met him in Madrid. Kyle, did you meet him in Madrid? Uh, yes, I did. Yes, I met him in Madrid. I thought for a moment that I met him in Vaughan Town. But no, I met him in Madrid. And the next day, I went to Vaughan Town. That was 2004. Ooh, a long time ago. Mm-hmm. So ask me if I worked as a teacher before I came to Spain. Kyle, did you work as a teacher, before you came to Spain? No, I didn't. No, I didn't work as a teacher before I came to Spain. Ask me if I worked before I came to Spain. Kyle, did you work before you came to Spain? Yes, I did. Ask me what I did. Kyle, what did you do? What did you do? What did did is our auxiliary, you do. Now, do is our main verb. What did you do? Well, I did a lot of things. I worked in a bank. My last job before coming to Spain was in a bank. Yeah, I worked in a bank, but I did several different jobs. All right, let's move on now and take a look at today's word of the day. <laughs> Word of the day. All right, it is time for our word of the day. Our word of the day today is por supuesto. And in English, we say, of course. Of course. Do you speak English? Of course I do. Of course. Does Nadal speak Spanish? Of course he does. Por supuesto. Claro. Of course. Of course he does. Of course I do. Of course they do. Of course we do. Of course he does. Is Madrid a big city? Of course it is. Is it in Spain? Of course it is. Is it a beautiful city? Of course it is. Of course. Por supuesto. Of course. Of course. Two words. Of course. Como de curso. <laughs> of O-F. One F. Of. Of course. When we, when we have the word of with one F, the F is pronounced like a V. Of. The V, which is a voiced or vocalized F. So we say F, and then we activate the vocal cords. Of. Of course. This is the same as the V in the word oven. Of course. Do you have an oven? Of course. I have an oven. Okay, of course. Por supuesto. So make sure you're not saying of course. No, of course. All right. Let's move on now into class number 150. And we have the verb to make. To make. Practicing in the past. Did you make a hamburger last week? So, to make, which is hacer. We've practiced the verb to do, but now we'll practice the verb to make. So, did you make a hamburger last week? Yes, I made. Every day I make, yesterday I made. A hamburger. Yes, I made a hamburger last week. Did you make an omelet last week? Yes, I made an omelet last week. Did you make your bed this morning? Yes, I made my bed this morning. Did you make a mess yesterday? To make a mess. Did you make a mess yesterday? Yes, I made a mess yesterday. Yes. Did you make a sandwich for lunch yesterday? Yes. I made a sandwich 
for lunch yesterday. Did scientists, scientists make an interesting discovery? A discovery. When you discover something, descubrir, to discover. When you discover something, you make a discovery. Not do, but make a discovery. Did scientists make an interesting discovery last year? So, out loud, en voz alta, yes. Scientists made an interesting discovery last year. Did you make a mistake in the last class? Yes. We all make mistakes. Yes, Kyle, I made a mistake in the last class. Did you make a list before you went to the supermarket last time? Did you make a list? Yes, I made a list. Yes, I did. I made a list before I went to the supermarket last time. Okay, so the verb to make every day I make... Yesterday, I made. All right, let's move on and take a look at today's vocabulary of the day. Vocabulary of the day. All right, it is time for today's vocabulary of the day, our five words of vocabulary. The first word today is ahorrar, ahorrar, which is to save, to save. Every month, I try to save a little money to save, save with the V, save. Okay, ahorrar to save. Save can also be can also be guardar. To save. The second word is cemento, which in English is very similar. We say cement, cement, cement. The third word, diamante. Diamante. Diamond. Diamond. And next we have lavar. Lavar, the verb to wash. To wash. Yes. I washed my hands when I got to the studio today. I had been on the street. I was on the street. I was in the metro. So I decided to wash my hands. I washed my hands. Finally, we have oeste which is the opposite of east, or este, is west, W-E-S-T, west, west. So we have north, east, south, and west. Mm -hmm. I'm not from the west of Canada. I'm from the east of Canada, the east, where Boston and New York are in the United States, the Atlantic coast. I'm from the east coast. Vancouver is on the west coast. In the United States, California is on the West Coast. West, W-E-S-T, West. All right, let's move on now. We have one more thing to do, and it is our translation list. Translation. Time now for our translation list. Today, list number 53. Number one, me gusta la comida china. I like Chinese food. It's true, I do. I like Chinese food. And we often eat Chinese food with, you say, palillos? Palillos. We say chopsticks. Chopsticks for eating Chinese food. Yes. Number two. No me gusta hablar con ella. I don't like to talk to her. I don't like to talk to her. No. Number three. ¿Qué te gusta hacer los fines de semana? What do you like to do on the weekends? What do you like to do on the weekends? Number four. Me gusta quedarme en casa. I like to stay at home. I like to stay at home. Yes. Number five. A ella 
No le gusta salir de noche. She doesn't like to go out at night. She doesn't like to go out at night. Number six. Él quiere un coche nuevo. He wants a new car. He wants a new car. Number seven. Pero él ya tiene dos coches. But he already has two cars. But he already has two cars. Number eight. Quiere otro. He wants another one. He wants another one. That's right. He wants another one. Number nine. Le gustan los coches. He likes cars. Yeah, he sure does. He wants another one. He likes cars. Number ten. Ella viene a la oficina conmigo los viernes. She comes to the office with me on Fridays. Number eleven. Voy a la playa en verano. I go to the beach in the summer. And finally, me gusta mi trabajo. I like my job. Yes, I do. I like my job. I like my job. I hope you like your job, too. And we're all out of time. I want to thank you so much for listening. I'm going to take a break, but I'll be back in just a few minutes with the intermediate portion of today's class. See you soon. Bye-bye.